Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel e-commerce project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can create our order page, right? So on our order page, we will show the details of amount and address and payment option and all, right? So first thing is that uh, these are the points of this video. So uh, first of all, we will create a route for order page. Then uh, we will create a controller and view for it. And uh, on our order page, we will uh, just show the amount and uh, delivery charges and the taxes and all in a form of table and then in a, there is a small form and here we can add a new address and we can select the payment option and we can just uh, proceed to the uh, further for order right so this is our project here you can see that uh, we created the remove to cart functionality in the last video and now we will create a one link here uh, just below to the result of the products and uh, one more uh, button in the bottom so that if we have the lots of product then we don't need to scroll for proceed on the order now right so now let's jump on cart list and uh, just uh, create a link here and uh, we can just make a link like order now and we can just put a text here order now right and uh, to make it uh, looking nice we can add some class like button btn success right and uh, now we have a button for order now to make some space I can add a br tag yes you can also the CSS for yourself but I don't want to add a CSS because I just want to focus on the logical part right and uh, now that you add the same button the below and uh, now you can see that right so whenever I will click on it we will just go on a 404 page because the order now route is not created yet so now let's jump on a web.php and create a order now route right so just write here order now we don't need to pass any ID on it so we can just move like this and now make a function the order now inside the product controller let's open it add a function with uh, order now and the all functionality will be very similar to the create list so I am just going to copy this code from here to here and uh, let's uh, just change the code a little bit and we can just put here a sum function and some function will get the sum from the price right so it will just find a sum of products dot price right and to check that this is a uh, fine or not we can just simply use here return see and what we got here now you can see that we got the hundred dollars so let's see uh, just open our database in the e-commerce English project and the products right so here you can see that we have a five products and what products I have in my cart for that you can see that Oppo Mobile, Sony and LG. So let's look out the price LG Mobile 200 Oppo Mobile and uh, okay so let me check again what product I have Oppo Mobile that's okay and LG Mobile right two mobile LG Mobile and Oppo these are the 500 and then I have a Sony TV again 500 price right so that's the price is okay this is the uh, 100 so that's okay so now just take it inside a variable like uh, dollar total and pass this to the uh, this view right but we need to also create a view for buy now we did not create it yet so just create a mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, order now not a buy now it's an order now right I was confused dot blade dot PHP and uh, because this page will be uh, very similar to cart list page so that I am just going to paste it here right and uh, let's just remove the inner stuff because we don't need it we just need a skeleton of it right and uh, just remove this one part also and now let's uh, just use here 
order now in a view function and uh, let's choose a total variable and use the dollar total as an array so now let's see what we got here so we have a blank page for a moment but yes this is a order now page right so i need a bootstrap table so i am just going to copy the code of the bootstrap table right so that we can save time now now let's jump on a first link and uh, just get code from uh, any table so you can just copy this table from here to 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 to, to, to here right and let's uh, paste it on our order now page so what we are getting here so let's see for a moment this is okay so let's remove the extra things that we now don't need here this one and i need a uh, one more uh, colon here you can see that that's why i choose one more tr added here so let's put here amount and i can just simply put here dollar and uh, dollar total right let's remove the last one now just uh, use here uh, tax and uh, we can just put here let's say zero dollar zero we are not paying any tax for a moment let's pause and uh, then delivery charges right and let's say just ten dollar for the deliveries right and let's remove it and at the last total amount right so yes uh, we will basically create a, a different table for the total amount and the tax and delivery but for a moment we can just simply put here dollar total plus 10 dollar right so let's see what we are getting here in this table so we got a perfectly things just we need to add here one more dollar right sign dollar sign not dollar all right so now i need a bootstrap form so i can just grab this form from here and uh, let me just cheat this code from this side to 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 to, to a div paste it here so i don't need this uh, stuff so i can just simply want to change it in the text area right and uh, i can just remove this id i don't need it and uh, let's create this and in this text area we will enter the so can we add a plus placeholder here enter your address or something right and uh, then we don't need password but we can just use it for a payment method right and let's remove this checkbox from here and for that let's uh, remove this line and uh, yes we can use the input radio inputs here name can be like payment and uh, we can add a span here like uh, uh, online payment right and some more like uh, let me just add some more things mm, emi then payment on delivery delivery right so now let's see what we are actually getting here so that's okay but we can add some line breaks here or you can just take them all these uh, stuff in a p tag right or you can use a br tag br tag option is much easier i think right because we want to just finish it as possible as as possible as we can do right and then we can add a br tag here also please you don't need to use your br tags please use the proper style here because i just want to show the laravel logic that's why i'm not going to use the style 
and you can use a style right so here we can add some end address and then we can just go for a submit right and let's change this submit to the order now right and in the next video we will uh, create a payment uh, sorry uh, we will basically create a order table in this order we will uh, just remove this all at uh, cart stuff inside our uh, payment and uh, we can just uh, put the many things like payment status and address and product and user and all so please subscribe our channel and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and uh, if you want to follow us or join us on the insta then link is here right so bye bye take care thank you so much